Alright, 620. Yesterday <laughs> we explored the haunted halls of Bowdoin College in a special Halloween edition of Maine Mysteries. Yeah, and so today Katie's here with her latest story in the series. Hi Katie. Good morning, Lee and Sharon. Let's get right into it, shall we? Yes. Well, today we dive into the tale of a sea creature whose sightings have been reported up and down the Maine coast since before much of it was settled by people. However, the majority of those stories about the monster came out of Casco Bay. Sea serpents being seen in the coast, along the coast of Maine, have been around for hundreds of years. Deep in the chilly water of Casco Bay, some say a mystery lurks. One with reported sightings dating as far back as the birth of our nation. Her existence has never been proven, but her name is steeped in legend. Cassie, the Casco Bay Sea Serpent. Veteran cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman has investigated the fabled creature for years. He's researched stories of Cassie's sightings, including one of the earliest accounts from 1779 by a young, not yet Commodore, Edward Preble. He actually saw a sea serpent in Casco Bay coming towards him and shot a little gun that was on, on a little boat over the sea serpent to scare it away. Coleman says despite the name, sea serpents would more likely be mammals than snake-like animals. His interest in Cassie is as much a fascination as it is the basis of his field. Cryptozoology is the study of undiscovered or unconfirmed animals. It's this kind of thinking that has led to the discovery of other once-labeled sea monsters like the giant squid and megamouth shark. But it was a first-hand account in 1986 that keeps Coleman's curiosity of Cassie alive. I was giving a talk at the Appalachian Mountain Club. And a man came up towards the end and he said, you should really talk to an old friend of mine. That man was then 81-year-old fisherman Ole Mickelson. He recounted to Coleman a day in June of 1958 when he and his first mate were fishing off the coast of Cape Elizabeth. Mickelson told Coleman they suddenly saw a large serpent creature, colored like a flounder, swimming toward them. And he said every time the foghorn would go off, the creature would turn its head all so slightly, and then it would go along. He was living it all over in front of me. These days, reported sightings of Cassie and other sea monsters are rare, but rather than writing the beasts off as myth, Coleman offers an alternative reason. The sea serpents that are out there now know how to avoid those ships. The big noises, the big ships that are very dangerous, they are like highways and they sort of they're avoid them. If she does exist, keep an eye on Casco Bay. You too might just see Cassie peeking out of the water. You just might. Well, tomorrow on Main Mysteries, I'll revisit one of America's most infamous unsolved murders straight out of a Hollywood horror movie and how it all started right here in Maine. Right. So get ready for that. Yeah, These are wait. really interesting. Thank really you. interesting. <laughs>